Gemini, my Yanny Yang Gemini, yeah. What's going on, twins? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Gemini for the month of March 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are we in this energy of really, really, really being literally feeling like we're being pushed and moved by spirit to make a damn decision? <laughs> Are we in this energy of grounding ourselves and really watching what the hell we say to people and not flipping out when they say crazy shit to us? <laughs> <laughs> hey, boy, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. Make us a little, make us a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. I do cuss. So if cussing does not resonate with your spirit, Please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because me, I'm going to do that. All right. Um, to my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Y'all will be dysfunctional. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We uplift. Posy vibes only. Okay. Um, you all, if you need a personal reading, this is simply a general. Please feel free to find that information. Below within the description. Okay. Um, and I am uh, available to do your personal readings um oh so my returning subscribers family what's up baby what's going down Mocha come feeling all spunky today y'all see when i get all mystic like i'm finna come and bring them jewels so without further ado this will be for my sun moon rising beings as well as the cross watchers for the sign of gemini you guys thank you so much for the likes the shares the subscribes the comments i truly 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 appreciate it this mercury retrograde in pisces got people losing their fucking minds you guys really ground yourself. Piscean energy is all about uh, it's governing healing, but it's also governing a uh, mysterious energy. Uh, the things about people who you, the, the shit about people that you did not know. You can fuck around and find Waldo in Pisces season. All right. So look, we're going to rock out. All right. Gemini, we're going to start with your intuitive messages for the month of March. Please, you guys, take what resonates and leave the rest. All right. So for Gemini, when meditating on your energy, the messages that I received for the month of March was codependency, new business, life path, forgiveness, catalyst, interruption, resurfacing, truth, secrets, surrender, internal warfare. I felt that shit. Children, speak your truth. New love, fear of judgment, compromise, karmic, past life, releasing, twin flame, detached, self-esteem, Taurus, Aries, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer. All right. Gemini, let's talk about it. All right. So your message, your angel messages for the month of March comes from Archangel Ragiel. What you guys, I'm trying to let you see if I'm a nice light. Maybe it's not going to happen. Whatever. What you guys received, sorry about that, was divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. So this is about making a decision based on all having all of the information, not an assumption, and not this illusionist energy that Neptune, that Neptune came to rain on us, okay, in the midst of Pisces season with a, uh, with a Mercury retrograde happening in Pisces, all right? So, you guys, um, the overall energy of the reading, okay, I got the two of diamonds, making a decision. Your spirit message this month definitely has to do with communication. Some of you all may be having a telepathic connection with someone who is possibly another air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some reason, I'm feeling the energy that this person has crossed over to the other side. This can be someone's father figure, someone's grandfather. Someone's grandfather has a mole right here. This person is coming through and they're trying to assist you on your path because I feel like whomever I'm connecting with, you're um, on your path. Your path actually consists of you being a healer, of you being an empath. But first, it's going to have to... Um, 
kind of require you to learn your ancestry for one and I feel that you've kind of come to this detached space in life also um, whoever I'm speaking to that has the grandfather or the father who have crossed over to the other side um, or an ancestor who has this mole right here um, this person is coming out to be they can be a light-skinned male they can also be a Caucasian male they can also be a male of Indian descent and they can also be um, someone who has light color eyes with this mold specifically right here beauty mark who passed over to the other side this person is trying to communicate with you in your dreams for some of you all you really need to not to pull away from codependency issues during this time and really find your grounding I feel that some of you all are overindulging for you all just not to feel and remain detached even though spirit is moving you into, into this place especially as we shift from the I believe the first half of March for some of you all there was a battle an act that is occurring okay and for some of you all it's actually you actually being the one to speak your truth your peace along your path and not allow things that does not agree with your energy to continuously stay in your damn energy because it's keeping you in this place of feeling as if you're smothered as if you know you're like locked in the damn closet without no AC or locked in the trunk in some Houston Texas 100 in degree at 103 degree ass weather some of you guys literally feel as if you're under persecution by people who you truly love of. And I feel like it has to do with the evolution and, and, and an ascension process. For some of you all, you're evolving. And so I feel that during the month of March, you're having to make a harmonious decision that is within you. For some of you all, it's actually harmony coming um, a, a twin flame relationship coming into harmony. I don't see, to be very honest with you, I do not see... Um, because I hate when people sell these damn pipe dreams about the whole twin flame journey. I'm on the twin flame journey. And my twin flame happens to be um, a cancer. Now, my Venus is in Gemini, which has to do with my love life. And might I say, you know, I'm very transparent. I'm very, very, very detached. So that's something I'm truly working on. But I can say there are um, there, there's this harmonious energy. And Spirit is showing me also, for those of you who are dealing with another air sign, or for those of you who are dealing with the twin flame the issue with the actual union has to it, they're showing me it has to do with vulnerability they really need you to to one of you all it's just like a chug of war one of you all needs to grasp the concept and not the actual biblical way of being but the concept of come ye as little children because for some of you all your partner you or your partner is coming ye at with the, come ye with big ass egos and it's not agreeing with your spirit anymore and so for some of you all you may be um actually choosing to remove yourself from the twin flame journey during this time i feel like that definitely has to do with faith you don't have no say so on that because what's faded so be i'm sorry what's faded shall be but for some of you all you have a twin flame that is a water sign cancer pipe Pisces Scorpio. This person has to learn how to love themselves and during this retrograde in Pisces you may be uh, the intensity around this person's emotions may be or well, the intensity that you feel um, during this time for some of you all you may be overindulging because you really feel like you're going crazy but ultimately you, you're not really um, are you coming to the conclusion are you actually finding or um, discovering this is the word I'm looking for discovering that you have a telepathic connection with this person for those of you who are new to the twin flame journey please go Google some shit before y'all get on here asking some of the readers because I've noticed a lot of these readers don't have great concepts of and I'm not gonna say what I'm not gonna do is sit here and bash another reader because I that, that that's not in my spirit I don't I'm not even on that vibration but I, what I will say is Mercury, I'm not going to let you fuck with me like that. What I will say is try to grasp your own understanding before you lean on another's understanding because everyone's interpretations are not the same. And for some of you all, it's really about your work instead of people pleasing because some of you all are shifting. You're making this shift because we are in this energetic shift in, in the midst of this spring equinox shift, okay? I definitely feel that some of you all are really going to be coming into a very abundant space and abundant comes in many forms. It's whatever you choose to see as abundance. For some of you all you're really working on your health. For some of you all you're manifesting new businesses and I do see that actually being successful. For those of you who have been trying to manifest a child, I spirit is saying during the month of March, okay, 
going into the end and I feel like this is more so coming into April energy some of you all may be finding out that someone in your energy this could be you or someone within your energy is having a child this child is going to be a very 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 prophetic child what I'm hearing some of you all one or two of you guys some of you someone is who watches me right now is going to see this video they're showing on they're showing me this person is you're pregnant whomever you are and whomever I'm speaking to and connecting with, you know that you're, you, you're pregnant, you're not happy about being pregnant, but at this point, you know what you're having. You're having your daughter. That daughter has, it, it's like, it, it's an ending of an ancestral cycle where there was some type of abandonment issue when it comes to um, the mother figure in your life, okay? So if you have a daughter, all right, even if your daughter is an adult, I definitely feel like this is a time of healing, all right? And I feel like some of you all, you've been wanting to make the initiative to have those conversations, and some of you all will be receiving help with the know-how as far as informative information from the other side, from your ancestors during this time. For those of you who had a child that passed over, Spirit wants you to know that that child is protected, okay? And you will see that you, you will manifest that child again. So for those of you who lost the baby, who is trying to have another baby, the energy um, the energy of that child actually being present and making its way to the world, I'm hearing the month of May. I'm also hearing the month of July for some of you all, okay? Congratulations, Mocha Love, the kids, all right? I, um, I'm also seeing some of you all are really trying to find your way. You really want to travel. Some of you all may decide to actually just leave your job during this time, and some of you all, some of y'all are going to be traveling near some mountains for the month of March. Someone's planning a trip. I definitely feel like this is a very spiritual trip. Some of you all, um, some of y'all are going to be meeting your twin flame. For those of you who are traveling or going hiking of some sort in the month of March, going to this looks like a very warm place. Um, and this could be someone that has a lot of someone that had some some place that has a lot of rocks. This you could even be traveling within the next three weeks to three months. I definitely feel some of you all are going to meet a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is your person. And for some of you all, this person is being used as a catalyst for you to get out of that out of your comfort zone of basing your decisions on what everybody else feels as if you should be doing because you're afraid of that persecution or that judgment from other people based on perception. You know? And it's during this time a lot of you guys are going to be um Looking at some of you all are really I'm hearing reprogramming and I'm also hearing review. Some of you guys are really needing to or in this space of you in order for you to find that harmony within, you're going to be working on reprogramming the subconscious instead of seeing um the, the negative aspects around the things that you're trying to manifest. Some of you all are just really gonna focus on the positive and really kinda of come into tune and acknowledge and check yourself when you find yourself going into that negative space. This is a very informative time. Some of you all are trying to find your path and spirit is trying to move you toward that path. Some of you all are coming to the conclusion and the understanding that you had to go through that heartbreak in your past because that heartbreak was only a catalytic situation for you all to find your path as readers, as light workers, as um as walking that path of the Empress, baby, the divine feminine. For some of you all. Some of y'all are actually going to make the decision to have the conversation to move away. Some of y'all are really in your head about just up and leaving your homes. Some of y'all are really needing to get outside more and get into nature and really center that solar plexus chakra because for some of you all it's overactive which has you in this very anxiety filled place, but it's like you know what you need to do, but you're not making a movement, even though you're very paranoid about the fact that you're not making a movement. If that makes sense? If that makes sense to someone? Y'all got a massive download. And I feel like this is a massive download, kind of, and I feel like this is going to be happening and occurring the last week of March going into April. Some of you all are going to be coming into... um. Some of y'all are coming into a spiritual ability of premonitions. For those of you who this is happening, and for some of you all, you're ex ex experiencing some massive, some massive expansion happening around the third eye. For some of you all, you may be prone to sinus infections during this time. Some of you all may even be having migraine headaches around this area. 
Some of y'all have a divine counterpart that's a Pisces. And for some of you all, it's this fear of judgment, this fear of judgment because your happiness, your fulfillment lies within that possibly of the same sex. And I feel like because of your traditions and the way that you were raised, you know where your happy space is, but you're having a hard time moving towards that place, moving towards um, making that decision to be happy. Because I feel like for some of you all, this could be um, for those of you who have adult children. I'm also hearing uh, for this is, could be someone who could also be married as well. Know that you can't control who you fall in love with. But we are all souls on a soul journey, you know, and we all are seeking that space of where we belong and we have to find that within the self. And if your heart and I feel like for some of you all, this is a heart chakra based connection. Some of you all are spiritual teachers and the reason why you're feeling uncomfortable in that work sector, in that environment, it's because spirit is really calling you to actually live out your path as a healer. I'm here, a medicine woman. Some of you guys will be delving into getting to know more about um, holistic practices, moving towards um, using different herbs to um, cure simple. And I feel like some of you guys are um, going to start simple. And I and I would suggest that some of you all could also be detoxifying during this time and changing your diet. Some of y'all may be someone. Whoever this is that works in nature or goes in nature under new moons, whomever this is, someone, for those of you who are manifesting with fairies, whatever it is that you are manifesting, and for some of you all, it's big, it's working. Spirit is saying, keep believing in your manifestations. Keep that belief strong. Some of you guys are really, really, really overthinking things. Spirit says in order for you to make your decision and find that that balance within the self, for one, you need to really let go and release blame, blame of the self. And for one, really, usually one would say make a, a head over heart decision, but Gemini, for some of you all, you're really needing to make a heart over head decision. And that heart over head decision is going to bring you guys stability. But you really need to, you, you're needing to speak life. Some of y'all are really needing to speak life into yourself. Because for some of you all, you're using money. You, you're covering up pain. And this surfacing during this time and this retrograde time. And I feel like for some of you all, this is, this is the emotions. This is what we're doing, you know. And Spirit is trying to get you on this wavelength. But in order to do that, you're really needing to surrender the resistance that you're putting up around actually healing and dealing with your shit. Some of y'all are accustomed to, and I'm speaking to a few people who have that or who possibly grew up in that with that mindset of what happens, what goes on in my house stays in my house. But ultimately, that's not how shit get dealt with. Some of you all may be seeking, um, seeking a therapist or some type of spiritual healer during this time and for some of you all within finding yourself and really walking on the path of really being in tune with yourself and allowing this harmony and allowing this surrendering to happen baby you're finding that you are the healer that you were seeking and that you can release that anger and release that blame and release that judgment of whomever this was in the past that broke your heart because some of y'all have a major reconciliation coming and whomever this is is tied to a past life all right. So I definitely feel that you guys could be already feeling the intensity of someone's return. For some of you all, you're feeling the intensity of someone actually uh, possibly getting ready to experience a catalyst situation where divine order comes into play. And this catalyst situation is simply this is karmic justice for some of you all, for all of you all. It's happening for you, not to you. For some of you all, you haven't yet made the decision to make a decision. So spirit is coming in to intervene to make a decision for you. And this is simply going to move you towards your life path. And for some of you all, it's going to move you towards really standing in your truth. And can't nobody else fucking tell you what the hell that is in your life. It's what your soul is at peace with. There is no right or wrong. It's a learning experience, baby. And you have to make a choice. There, there, there's always a choice. No right or wrong, though. Because you have to first learn the wrong, learn the wrong in order to make an informed decision to do right.
It's finding that balance in between and not only wanting to see the positive aspects of yourself, but be ready to look that damn monster in the face too. And don't judge that monster. Get that monster a hug too. And understand and thank that monster for assisting you in finding your balance, your truth, your stance, your beliefs. And don't allow any other any other person, place, or thing to project their falsehood and their their uncomfort and how they feel that you should be moving on to you. Tell a motherfucker the devil is a lie. Okay, let's rock. All right, so spirit, what can my beautiful Gemini have expect for the month of March and love? What do they expect? What can my beautiful Gemini have expect? So, in the month of March, y'all love it so I want to keep popping out when I was actually meditating on the energy. So, I'm going to let it come out because it want to show its ass, okay? So, for some of you all, some of you all are really standing in your truth. For those of you who have been single for quite some time, I do see you actually having the, uh, the possibilities of meeting new love, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, some of you all was preventing a union is the overthinking, is the toxic thoughts, is the actual attachments to the to that programming. Okay, what could go wrong? Some of you are only seeing the. Some of y'all, when you meet love, you looking for the damn. When love comes in your life, you looking for the damn exit sign first before you even enter the building to give it a shot and sit your ass down and meet somebody. Spirit says, stop it, because you are standing in your own way. For some of you all, you have a toxic connection to. A Capricorn that could possibly prevent the, that you feel that's preventing you from actually being, yeah, from possibly um, being with your lover. For some of you all, okay, during this time, some of y'all could be cutting off a Gemini Libra Aquarius due to toxic due to toxicity. You know that you are worth more. You deserve more. Some of y'all are freeing yourself. Some of you all feel that you're married. Some of you guys could be married with, married with this toxic um, married. Some of you guys could be married, okay, or feel that your marriage has to become toxic, okay. For some of you all, the some of y'all are dealing with someone who's very obsessed with you. This person could be um, a Capricorn, another Gemini. This person could also be the sign of Taurus or Virgo. But I definitely feel like for some of you all, you're you, you're you're having a hard time releasing yourself from a situation due to the fact it's it's surrounding around stability, okay. For some of you all, this could be. Um, this could be because you have a family with this person. For some of you all, you're really just not feeling fulfilled in the marriage anymore. For some of you all, this could be due to the fact that you actually could have met your twin flame, all right? And I feel like for some of you all, it's really putting you in this burdensome place. You're overthinking. Some of y'all can't even focus at work, I'm hearing. For some of you all, some of y'all, okay, some of you guys could have had someone to cut you off due to the fact that they may feel, and whoever, whoever I'm talking to, Somebody could be pregnant by someone else that is in a commitment, and I feel like you're spying on this person, or this person is spying on you and finding out that someone is in a commitment, or someone has a new baby on the way during this time, and I feel like it's going to require for someone, it's, it's not require, it's going to make someone cut the other party off. There's a third party coming to an end due to... Um, Someone's fucking beans being spilled, to be honest. Some of y'all could have a very toxic connection to a tourist person. This person has commitment issues. They don't want to commit. And I feel like for some of you all, you don't want to cut this person off because you know that the intensity of the, 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 the connection is very intense. You have a very intense connection. For some of you all, this could be someone that you work with. Somebody who you work with who could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person could also be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. But this person, I feel that... You or this other person definitely has an acknowledgement of what this union is. You even understand the intensity around the union. And for some of you all, you're leaving a job due to the fact that you just don't want to see a person every day. This could be someone who you actually have plans to commit with. However, you are the other person. I feel that there's a push and pull. Someone wanted to cut the other person off, but the other person didn't want to be released or they didn't want to. They wasn't ready to release the relationship or let it go. But I feel like someone, when this truth comes out, you or the other person could be getting released due to the fact that someone's going to want to try to stay in this marriage or this commitment where they're not happy, this partnership. I feel like there's a belonging feeling. Someone belongs. 
due to indecision. Some of y'all could be dealing with, um, some of you guys are not making a decision until you 100% sure and have all the facts. And some of you guys could be finding out that someone who you were building on a commitment with, okay, and this definitely have third party energy attached to it. Someone who you were building with or making plans with, some of y'all could be finding out that this person could be working it out with someone who they have children with or had a previous family dynamic with. And for some of you all, yeah, some of y'all are not making a damn decision because you, in, you, 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 some of y'all are not making a decision about a water sign because this person drinks a lot. I feel that this person really wants to put the work in, but for some of you all, they really don't know how because they've really become consumed and obsessing over shit and only seeing the negative aspects of things. For some of you all, this could involve a Leo person. Some of y'all are trying to manifest your relationship with a Leo. Okay, but in order for you to do that, you have to cut someone off. And I feel like for some of you all, you could be receiving communication or communication could be coming in to or from you. Yeah. To or from you that someone wants to be victorious. Someone actually wants to move forward and be serious and actually give you this commitment for some of you all. Some of you all are dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like if you're dealing with fire... Fire wants victory. Fire wants to move forward. Fire actually wants this. Gemini, this could be you that is indecisive due to the fact that you're putting energies into codependent behavior like drinking, smoking, popping pills. And I feel like it's not what you do, it's how you do it. And anything that you do in obsess or excessive, excessively is too damn much, okay? And for some of you all, some of you all really want to offer your love to someone. However, you have to make a decision between two people. Some of y'all got to choose between a fire sign and an earth sign. Some uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of you all have to choose to release yourself from a non-committal ass Taurus, a non-committal ass Capricorn, or, or or some type of partnership where there are shared assets. Shared assets. Some of you all could also live with someone. But there is a, a, a releasing that needs to happen. But that release looks like has to come from your side, Gemini. Either you have to speak your truth, stand in your authenticity to release things and burdens that makes you unhappy, okay? But I definitely see someone communicating. And someone's going to be communicating, look, I'm tired. I put in all of this damn work. I put in all of these efforts. What are we going to do? Are we going to build or what are we going to do? Because if we not ultimately, I want a family. I want commitment, all right? For some of you all, you're letting someone know, look, I'm no longer, this, this, this is letting someone know, I no longer want this damn commitment. I no longer want this partnership. But because it's this way and it came out this way, it's definitely on your mind. For some of you all who are not speaking to a Taurus person or a Capricorn person, for some of you all, it's another Aqua, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I definitely feel like it's due to the fact that the reason what this person is not saying, even though they're giving you just enough love to shut you up, what they're not saying is, I'm afraid of commitment. I don't want that. It's not that I really want any other options. I just don't want to. Someone sees love as bondage. And for those of you who were dealing with someone who was obsessive or dealing with someone who is obsessive, this person has has a codependent you towards the relationship with you. And because it's gotten to an unhealthy point where you feel like, damn, I can't even go to the bathroom in peace. Damn, I can't talk on the phone in peace. Damn, I can't even fucking go to work in peace. You, you on the phone with, with reading them who might know me, who going to hit me up and tell you where I'm at. Get your life. Gemini, you need to tell somebody, get your life. Because for some of you all, your resistance, your resistance during this time, you being resistant to change, you being resistant to speaking your truth, you being resistant to stand in your authenticity, is preventing beautiful things from flourishing for you. And for some of you all, it's standing in your truth as a healer. For some of you all, it's standing in your truth as someone who wants to be abundant in holistic medicine. For some of you, it's standing in your truth and saying, look, I just want to be independent. I want to focus on getting this money. Fuck all of that love shit right now. I want to put that in my pocket and focus on the other L called life. Exploring, learning me. Or this is what someone else is not saying. For those of you who are resisting leaving your job, because of comfort, you're standing in your own way of something beautiful, divine blessing. Okay? 
we end with the energy of the tower spirit and allow the towers to fall and right up under here i have the ace of cups with this king of cups some of you are your divine partner it's possibly looking you right in your face but there's this reprogramming of the subconscious that needs to happen. That little thing in your head that tells you it ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe. That prevents you from allowing yourself to truly, truly become one with the self and truly feel. And for some of you all, it's something completely new, a whole new partner. Who could possibly be Capricorn towards Virgo? But it's going to be releasing possibly another after releasing another earth sign and there's negative. Some of y'all could be walking. And this is for example. And I'm going to go. Some of y'all could be leaving possibly, let's say, a Virgo. Okay? Because some of y'all are leaving the sign of Virgo. I see that. Some of y'all could be leaving a Virgo. All right? And then you meet. You be on your happy little journey. Do, 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 do. You just left a Virgo. And then you meet another Virgo. Now, this person, because, you know, they, they, they have similar energy, but the way that they communicate, the way that they express, the way uh, their vulnerability is not the same, yet you're just focused on where you've been, and it's preventing you from seeing where spirit is trying to take you. you praying for better times with some shit that make you unhappy, and spirit is saying, you you praying way down here. Come on, let's lift them up. Let's lift them up. Let's let let's let's get them up here. And you so scared to jump off the damn cliff, you have no idea how beautiful it is if you just simply surrender. I dare you to trust. All right. So this is what I have for my Gemini's for the month of March, 2019. I will see you guys again in about a week or so for these damn April. First to 15th generals. All right. I love you all. If you need a personal reading, hit me up. I am going to drop a spring break sale. I'm trying to get everybody video first, so I'm not distracted in between that. But if you need a reading, hit me up. Y'all know how it works. Love y'all. Much light, much love. Namaste, babies.